Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonky. So welcome. It has been a long time since I've made a video like this, but this is going to be a road to completion escape. So as you can see, I'm at Livid Farm, which is possibly the worst place on earth. However, I have discovered something that makes this place not actually that bad. Um, but I have been here for about three hours today, which doesn't seem like that long. But if you guys have ever tried this place, it is awful. Three hours here is pretty rough. But what I have been doing is I've been bringing broad arrows and just making them while training, and it's been not too bad. I've actually gained about 450k fletching XP um, just during my time here in three hours. So it's about 150k XP per hour along with doing Livid Farm. So I did get 18 million fletching. Uh, that's pretty cool. But the point of being at Livid Farm is this. I'm at 315k produce points now, and that's enough to unlock the fourth Livid spell, Remote Farming. So I learned that and she'll teach me about the remote farming spell. So I do need 850k total points for borrowed power, um, which will unlock all 11 spells. There used to be 12 of them, but one of them was taken off. can't remember which one. But uh, I have now unlocked four Livid Farm spells. So that was pretty awful, but the next spell is uh, quite a ways away. That looks like 85,000 points, roughly. Uh, more like 86,500, but oh well. Points that I'm going to need to get, so... I might need to buy even some more broad arrows because I went through 30k broad arrows in three hours. So you make about 10,000 broad arrows an hour. You do go through them pretty fast. But anyway, um, those are those things are expensive, but they are totally worth it because the XP is so awesome. So I'm going to show you guys a bit of my progress. We're going to go to the Varrock Museum and see what we have left. I have done a couple things since I last made a Road to Completion Escape episode that I just never showed on video. But uh, yeah, let's go see what we have left to do for the Completion Escape. Okay, so here we are at the top of the museum. I have not checked this cape in forever, and I know I will have quite a few less requirements to do than the last time I checked this cape, because I have finished a whole bunch of the miscellaneous stuff. Um, there's quite a few little things that don't take very long. For example, the goblin priests, um, you had to bury their bones. I did that. That's just an example of one thing I did. A whole bunch of miscellaneous little tasks. So all I need left is 120 dungeoneering, um, I need the Bones to Peaches spell, which is going to suck, but I've heard that only takes like four hours, so I guess that's not terrible. I need the rest of the Livid Farm spells. I need to hunt the Thalassus ten times. I have to complete What's Mine is Yours and all of Doric's tasks. I obviously have completed the quest, I just haven't completed the task. And I need to construct a Tusca Mask, which I will do in just a second. Um, but anyway, it doesn't seem like I have a whole lot left, because 120 Dungeoneering, if we look at my Dungeoneering XP, I'm 5 mil XP away from 118 right now. Unfortunately, I didn't record any of my last previous couple level ups, because I haven't really been going to, for Completion Escape, because I've been so demotivated by this Livid Farm minigame. But regardless, um, I am getting about 500-600 DG XP a day, 500-600k a day, uh, so this isn't even going to take very long. This will take, um about a month and a half, maybe a little bit less. And then, like, hunting those lasses, that's something that takes, like, half an hour, and completing the Doric's quest, that takes, like, half an hour. Um, so, really, pretty much all I have left, other than just patiently waiting, because I do, I only spend, like, uh, 25 minutes, half an hour a day on actually Dungeoneering. Um, so, other than just playing the waiting game with that, all I have to do, really, is Livid Farm, and I guess that one Bones to Peaches spell. So, I'm very, very close to Completion Escape. So, as I said, we are going to con construct the Tuscan Mask, just to get one more requirement out of the way. I have been collecting all these Tuscan pieces, I don't really know why. Um, it's useless, because you can only get gain XP from one mask. Um, but anyway, so, you can choose a skill to gain XP in... Any of these skills, I believe these skills, it's like, any of the regular combat skills, it's like 100k XP, and then Slayer's like 10k XP. So, what I'm going to do, oh, range is 43k XP, Slayer is, hmm, I guess like 11k Slayer doesn't really feel worth it, so I'm just going to do ranged. But anyway, I got the Tusca Mask now, um, it doesn't look very cool. I know you can like turn them into Curidel for like one Slayer point each, which is terrible. Uh, but that is something that you can do with the Tusk Masks. But anyway, um, that's about all that I really have to show in-game-wise. I'm going to show you guys the website that I use to track for all my regular and trim completion escape requirements, even though I'm not going to get, be getting the trim completion escape. Um, but it is one of my favorite stat tracking websites. I have two websites that kind of do stat tracking that I really love a lot, and I'm going to show you guys one of them here. 
So this site is just maxcape.com. Um, I will have a link for it down in the description. If you don't trust links, you can just Google it yourself. That is the URL, maxcape.com. However, uh, I just wanted to show you really quickly um, this cool checklist that they have, and you can edit this as much as you want. I did update this just recently. So um, this is what I have left for completionist cape. They also have a trimmed completionist cape calculator that I'll show you in just a second. So as you can see, we're just about done here, very, very close to it. Even though I haven't been working on completion escape, things just eventually complete themselves other than Livid Farm. Um, but yeah, every like the Fremenic Sagas, uh, I had to do that for the Daemonheim tasks. Um, and like player own ports, I just do that. And like the fight kill, I did that just for fun, not really for the completion escape. I had to go out of my way to do a few things, like the 1,000 charm sprites caught. Um, I did get that done a while ago, and like the task system. And you can also go to the trimmed requirements here, which we'll look at just for fun. Um, all I've completed for trimmed is the 500 Virewatch corpses, uh, about halfway for the medals for the Champion's Tackle Box. Um, I have a lot more Barbarian notes than 10. I'm not exactly sure how many I have. I think I'm around like 15 or so, because I kill a lot of Mithril Dragons from Slayer. Um, I have all these Slayer abilities done. Uh, I have Artisan's Workshop completely completed. I have most of the court cases done. So, um, obviously, it doesn't look like I'm going to get trimmed. I do, not, I do not want to do the 5,000 Castle Wars games. I can safely say if it wasn't for the 5,000 Castle Wars games, heck yeah, I would go for trim. Um, however, that is just a little bit awful. I'm sorry. Uh, I could not do 5,000 Castle Wars games. Or I know it's technically not. It's like 4,600 now, Castle Wars games. I don't know what the exact number is. But anyway, you can also um, search your... RSN, a uh, little bit of stat tracking here and see like what all your stats are, the ranks, you can just see this on like the RuneScape website itself. And then you can also set like um, a tracker for basically a, a milestone. Uh, this milestone is July 19th, which was uh, exactly one month after I initially maxed. And so, so since then, like I've gotten 93 million defense XP, you know, 46 million to engineering. And you can just look at all the uh, XP gains that you have got in that time. But anyway, this is what I use to kind of uh, track my progress and everything. So, yeah, that's about it for this episode. Um, next Road to Completion Escape episode, I might actually be getting the Completion Escape. We, who knows? Uh, I'm not that far off of it. It'll probably be like a little over a month, and I'll get it, depending on how much dungeon I do. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for future videos, and farewell.